Hi, welcome to Story is Live, episode three of the She-Hulk after show. Uh, let me tell you something. I am not happy with what's happening on this show. Right now, it is not looking good. It's not looking good uh, for the future of the show. Hold on, let me try to dim this a little bit. There we go. Wow, um, I don't have a lot to say today. It's a weak plot, you know. We have ourselves this a little bit. We have ourselves a weak plot, and it's just you know the whole thing about Wong, the reason why he took him took Abomination out of the jail and then put him back. I mean. Is that just to tie it into the Marvel Universe? Like, who cares about that? You know, what they've done with um, Abomination. Online, people, a lot of people are, are upset or are saying that he's boring, right? I don't think he's boring. I just think that he's probably going to be more comical, probably. I don't know. I don't know. He's... I, I, I don't know what they're doing. Usually, you know, it takes like three episodes for a show to like really get warmed up and the actors to get comfortable with with the script, with the character that they're playing. But I don't know, man. This is kind of cheesy. It's kind of cheesy. Um, I, I, I named the show, the title I gave it was Weak Plot because things are just happening and there's like... There's nothing, there's no drama, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're missing the drama, the stakes. There are no stakes here, right? Until, of course, the end where, finally, you know, we see that these people attack her and we know that they're trying to get her blood because they want to become the Hulk. That's interesting. That's a story. That's drama, right? So let's see what they're going to do with that. But right now, these last three episodes, other than introducing her and Abomination has really been it's kind of slow right we need to pick up the pace at this point we need to start seeing uh, or feeling drama feeling uh tense suspense you know we need to start feeling things other than light humor right because even though it's a comedy a comedy is a drama in disguise there's always drama there's always stakes right and you're talking about superheroes so what are the stakes that we have right now? There's there's nothing, right? Right now they're trying to get her blood. That's the first thing that's happened for the whole season right now that we're looking at that is might pique an interest. We might see something interesting happen, happening. Um, you know, the paralegal, she's great. I'm dying to see her more involved. I really like this character. I think she's adorable. Her name is Nikki Ramos. I don't know if that's her character name or her real name, but Nikki Ramos. She's fantastic. I really like her. Again, Abomination. He's interesting to me. He is. Um, he's. He's. He piques my interest. He doesn't have to be a villain. He doesn't have to be a badass. That's okay. But he's interesting. So I'll. I will accept that for now. I'm okay with that, with what they're doing with him, that he wants to be in peace. You know, the whole, the whole, um, what am I trying to say? The whole theme of the Hulk is about trying to find balance with yourself, right? And uh, an abomination is finding that balance, and I like that. We're still in the theme of the Hulk. We're still in that universe of the Hulk. I'm okay with that. The whole thing with that elf that changes, uh, shape shifts, I didn't care about that. I didn't care about her. Why don't you bring a character that we want to see? What, what is this inventing of these characters that we don't care about? I, it's such an opportunity to bring someone cool, right? Uh, Jessica Jones, you know, bring Iron Fist. Bring, um, what's this guy? Uh, Iron Fist and, uh, oh my God. The guy from Harlem. What's his name? Oh my God, that's going to drive me crazy. Oh no! How can I not forget? Remember his name. Ah, oh, it's it's gonna it's gonna kill me. The impenetrable skin. Oh my God! I'm seeing his face. 
I can't, but you guys know how I'm talking about all the Netflix characters, the Punisher. There's so many people that you, so many things you can make fun of right now. Uh, what else? The jokes aren't hitting. I don't know if I mentioned this. The jokes are not hitting. However, with that said, the last joke, I don't know if it was a joke, the booty dance. The booty dance was hilarious. I, again, laughed out loud. L-O-L. I laughed out loud to the booty dance. The booty dance was funny to me. Could be a little ratchet, a little, you know, it's not for everyone, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. These, let me tell you, these, uh, except for episodes two, episode one and episode three, the two, the ending, the, the, what do you call that? I don't know what it's called, but it, there's like a, there's a name for when you end the sitcom, the final joke, right? And they're hitting them. They're hitting those, but they're not hitting anything else. You know, the whole thing with Wong, I, I get the jokes that they're trying to do about he's the, the master of the mystical arts, and but they're not hitting. The jokes are not hitting. And I think it's a timing issue. Well, let, let me know what you think in the comments. What, did you think that the jokes are hitting? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Um, what did you think of the booty dance at the end? Was that funny? Was it not funny? Let me know. Write, write it in your comments below. Um, are you getting bored with this show? Is this show getting, are you done with it? Or are you going to give it a chance? I'm, I'm, I'm in, I have to watch it till the end. But I don't see there, I don't see a rising climax, right? So let's see, let's see what happens. I, I, I don't know. That's all I have to say about this. It's a half hour show. She's a cutie. She's still hot. I like, and the more I see her as Jen, the more I see like how she's so much like a female Bruce Banner. Oh, one more thing that I don't wanted to talk about. The men shaming jokes. They're, they're getting a little old, right? I, I don't care about making fun of men. I don't care about women empowerment. I love all of that. But the jokes, and, and, and I get the theme, right? There's a theme of like a powerful woman in a man's society, but it's not being done in an elegant way. They're, they're kind of like on the borderline of being like, not uh, preachy, but, or pushing the agenda, but like, guys, all right, I get it. Men suck, I get it. But can we talk about the story? Can you, if you're gonna give us this, give us a story. I look like a watermelon, don't I? It's not purple, it's supposed to be purple and it looks pink oh anyways you know what i'm saying i, I need i need to, if you're gonna give me a, a theme of that sort that's political then give me a story give me a good time and 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 f feed it to me without me knowing right and that's all i ask and they're kind of borderline like i'm already getting a little sick and tired of it like come on guys okay i get it ha 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 Men suck. All right, I get it, but but it's getting a little bit too much. That you know, they're they're like pushing it too much. It's becoming like like you guys are going overboard with this. Can we bring it back a little bit and focus on the plot, which is very weak right now? Okay, so that's all I got. Always remember that story is live.